the greater our intercourse with European gentlemen, the greater will be our improvement in literary, social, and political affairs. During the last twenty years, a body of English gentlemen, who were called missionaries, had been publicly endeavoring, in several ways, to convert Hindus and Muslims of this country into Christianity. Trinitarians deny the name Christian to Unitarians, while the latter retort by stigmatizing the worshippers of the Son of Man as pagans, who adore a created and dependent being. For wise and good men always feel disinclined to hurt those that are of much less strength than themselves. The present system of Hindus is not well calculated to promote their political interests. Kindly express my humble respects to the Governor General and inform him that I have no inclination to appear before his august presence. The superstitious practices which deform the Hindu religion have nothing to do with the pure spirit of its dictates. The failure of several mercantile houses in Calcutta has produced much distrust, both in India and England. Just consider how terrible the day of your death will be. Others will go on speaking, and you will not be able to argue back.